Hey guys, it's me. I'm back and I'm bringing you a Transformers video review. Now today is going to be a custom repaint of a figure I did a while back. And here we have my custom Beast Wars Death Charge. Now obviously he is a my own repaint of the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Sharktacon Megatron figure. He is mainly blue and gray with purple gold, silver, and a little bit of red. Now the blue I used is darker in person than it is on camera and the purple is a glossy purple but it's coming out as a dull blue almost on camera. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It just makes him a bit more bluish, bluish I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Obviously he's got his weapon, his shark tooth spear, I think is what they called it on the package. The weapon itself is more purple, blue, and gold with red. Now to turn into gun mode, what you want to do is take the handle here, is tab it from this little piece right here, fold the handle down, and when you let go of this piece right here, Everything collapses, and now you have a fish blaster with two blades at the end. Okay. Swimming fish. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bang. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm a little bored here. But the figure is, itself is actually pretty freaking sweet. Let's see if I can get better light here. All right. Articulation is really the same. Ball joint in the head. Ball joints in the shoulder. Pant, shoulder pads. And the shoulder itself. Decent articulation in the shoulder. Hinged elbow. At 90 degrees. Swivel. 360. Just in the form. And hinged hands due to transformation. No waist articulation, but you get decent ball joints in the hips and swivels underneath the hips. 90 degree bend at the knee and hinge toes and heel for transformation. And obviously, just like the regular Megatron, you can pose this backpack however you want. But due to this little addition to the figure, you really can't do much without it posing wise. So I just keep it like this. Now, only thing left is transformation, which is really the same. But if people don't have this figure, I'll go ahead and go through that real quick for you. Go ahead, take these shoulder pads, collapse them together, like that. And just bring them up slightly. Go ahead and bring these panels down. Take this entire panel and unpeg the entire arms from the body itself. Which does that ha most of the time. And then fold these panels up like so. And then go ahead and actually fold in his hands and rotate the forearms 180 degrees. Same thing for the other side. And go ahead and, like I said, it'll unpeg itself from the body. Now go ahead and work on the legs here. Fold in the toes all the way back and then bring the heel piece all the way forward. Toes back, heel forward. Then rotate the legs 90 degrees away from you so the front of the legs are facing each other. And then take this panel, these panels right here, and rotate them 180 degrees out. And these will become his wings in jet mode. Go ahead and unpeg his chest pieces out and rotate this inside assembly like so. Now what you want to go ahead and do is bring out the arms, like so. Bring them down and peg them together right here. And it'll help bring them in closer together. And then go ahead and just take these, these 
giant pegs right here and put them into these little slots right here. And I'll bring the arms even closer together to compact them for jet mode. Come on. There we go. And now what you want to go ahead and do is actually bring down the legs, the entire waist, actually. Yeah, bring the waist and legs down. Bring them all the way around like this. And fold them up like so. Take the shoulder pads, bring them down, and rotate them around. Take his cod piece, throw that down, and tab it in right here with this tab via slot. And then take his chest pieces, rotate and fit them around over the crotch plate, peg them together, and there you have it, fish it. And then last bit here, move the shoulder pads away. Actually, before you do that, before you even do the legs, I completely forgot this part. Fold these down, take these panels, rotate them so you can side close, ugh, so they can cover the head mostly. Sorry guys, bit of a rush here. And then go ahead and just peg the legs into place. Rotate, bring these panels slightly up and bend them down so you can rotate them and then peg them into place. Like so, rotate these little red tips of the wings out. And then take this little cover right here, fold it down so you can cover the head. And now you have the flying fish mood. Very, very, very cool. Purple, now you can see more of what the purple is. Mainly right here, right here, right here, and right here. But it, like I said, the purple looks like a dull blue. So it kind of looks like a flying blue fish, but yeah. What can you do? <laughs> Obviously, pet three ports right here. But you can mainly plug in the gun like so. Right here. And now you've got a flying fish jet holding a fish gun makes sense in a weird way but it looks pretty freaking cool now why did i choose this figure to review he like i said he is one of the best ones that i came up with the other one was either optimal optimus from ultra magnus figure or the rampage repaint from the shockwave figure I chose this guy. He's probably the best one out of the set I did. But I hope you like this guy. I do. And I'm out of breath. <laughs> so this has been my custom figure review of Beast Wars Death Charge. May the Schwartz be with you. And I need a drink water. Goodbye guys. <laughs>